so i've always been asked like how do i get my skin tone correctly how do i shade my skin to look realistic how do i make those skin pores and you know those detailed parts in the shading of my skin so i've decided to make a video on how i do those tricky parts like those skin pores and how you can you know get those steps correctly so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like the video share and also comment areas you feel i will you know make more tutorials on and you know where you are confused you can you know let me know in the comments section and i'll try my best in next video i'll you know put more light on those areas so first of all we are going to start with a very rough sketch of the image you are going to be shading on so it's not something realistic i'll just try something very ordinary so that you understand it from the from the learner's perspective you understand i don't know i don't know if you if you know i i i, I know how to draw with freehand but this one i'll just do it anyhow just if so that someone that is that is still learning like from the ground we just pick up and you know understand what i'm doing if you know me you know i you know i do comics before so my freehand sketching is very perfect i can say that but i'll just try to you know make this one a little bit imperfect and the shading also be imperfect i'll just do the do a very rough shading of skin so that but you can still perfect it if you want but just for you to understand and learn what i'm doing as in learn the basics so from there you can you know step up your your creative artistic mind and grow from there so hopefully this will give you some insights on things you need to know when shading skin and then grow yourself from there you know try something different and also this the pen i'm using is juxco pen the, the the company stopped producing this pen so they gave me license to use their you know the ones they they've done already but i think very soon they start producing it and then i'll be selling it out to you know anyone out there that needs it so but for now i'm i have many of them but I, I don't i don't i don't you know give it out for now because it's not too much and the paper i'm using is embossed paper the needle point paper actually all right guys don't skip this video just continue watching so that you get every bit of it and understand everything i'm doing notice how this first layer is very very light and spaced from each other the scribbling here is spaced from each other and it's light so somehow this is where most people get it wrong they want this first layer to be very deep and you know vivid and something like that so but it's not like that this one is just a shading for you to know where you you know later on shade your dark areas and also give the you know the white space a kind of base for you to add more layers or two you know and i also have other videos where i show how to make skin so if if you haven't gotten an answer from this video and you also you know you want to learn more you can just check the description i will link other videos where i explain some steps here maybe those video will help you understand better so if you compare the two videos you might get answers to your question that should be it for the first layer and notice how this first layer is just for me to know where my dark shading will be and you know differentiate my dark areas from the from the light part from here i'll add the second layer which will be a little bit close to each other the strokes will be close to each other so i'll just gradually use the second layer to fill out those spaces that is on that work for this second part in my mind i'll i'll just use this second layer to understand those places where the skin pause and you know like marks on the skin 
this second layer will just help me understand where i'll put those details this is why i tell most people most people that you know come to my dms to chat and they, they want to know the time i spend in making maybe a complete portrait or so the first thing i say is pen drawing takes time to get to get right to get well or realistic it's very time consuming like it takes a lot of a lot of courage and you know somebody somebody with without patience can't do well with pen drawing because it's it's not like pen suit pen drawing is not like that see every stroke you see every dot and everything is, is done by hand like i don't know how to explain like this for this drawing i it, it took me just about two hours to make like for me now it's easy and it's faster for me because i have i've mastered this technique this scribbling st- uh, shading and you know every form of it i i know so it's quicker for me but for you that is still learning it to take it to take a lot of time my first drawing my first realistic drawing i actually made up to today i'm still proud of it it took me about two three weeks or two weeks or so to get that drawing well that was actually the the first drawing that that made me to understand that making pen drawing would take my time it's something i grew up to you know live with but for you that are just starting all this experience would be like a hard work for you but if you're that type that want to achieve more that want to get to the top with pen drawing you want to risk everything you want to put everything and you know discipline yourself make something good in, in a very long time I want to use this this opportunity to tell those people that want to ask me questions self uh, about how much time I use in making one portrait. So it doesn't matter. Like the highest, the longest time I've used making a portrait, I think it's about three weeks, three weeks and and two days or something like that. That was actually my biggest artwork and looking at looking at this this drawing i'm I'm making right now you understand how how painful it is to to bend down and you know come up with something a little bit realistic not even if it's not that good but making pen drawing you you feel like a kind of tiring like there's this kind of tiredness you get when making pen drawing it's not easy i would say it's not easy if you are that type that wants to just draw something quick and then just throw it off is pen drawing is not i'm not sure pen drawing for you you have to be that type that is willing to you know put everything into one place and no matter the time you just want to get that thing done make something beautiful so no matter the time just keep on drawing it and keep on you know making those strokes uh, so with time maybe to take two weeks just to draw an orange or maybe three weeks just draw a lamp or maybe a ball but I, I bet you if, you if you do it well and you you take your time to you know get it right, you will love the outcome. Having this kind of idea gives me that that strength and courage to keep pressing myself to do more, to achieve more, to bring out something big and beautiful for myself. And something I will step back and look and shook my head and say, yes, this really worth the time I spent. So yeah, that is that is just pen drawing for you. So now you can see how the second and third layer are slowly adding up details to the drawing. Like the skin pores are now started, you know, showing up. So this this is three layers I've, I've just added. So maybe the fourth one will be more will be more detailed. Like you, you get more detail from the fourth layer. Guys, you can see I add more layers like seven, eight if you want. Just it just depends how much time you you have. So this is just how you make skin detailed drawing. 
I'm trying my best to, you know, be close to the screen and so that you see everything, everything I'm doing. Now I'm drawing in real time so that you understand everything, how I'm making the strokes and everything. If you look closely, you see how the detailing I'm adding isn't that scrib scribbling like that again like it's not that too scribble shading making something like a, a c a c kind of stroke like something like c it's just like i'm writing the alphabet c many times so that is that is how i get my my realism from the shadings that are underneath the one i'm adding so i don't need to you know go that scribble too much again i, I just gradually add little little strokes like c shape just in case you want to ask if i use cleaner or this what is it what is it called this correct correcting fluid i think this white stuff for my skin details no i don't i just i draw all everything at once or the even if the person have acne like these pimples i, I see add everything on the get go like that i just make my my layers in in a form where i'll leave that part out and then when i come back i'll use this kind of shading and then add up the details very well then you see everything well so this is how i draw and it takes time that is the point like if i want to do this drawing and this maybe if this drawing is real commission portraits now like i'll spend like let me say about hours you know just making just this this chick or even the nose i'll spend like maybe three days just for the nose just to get the nose and every all the all the details well just for the sake of this tutorial i'll just try to you know do everything rough but the roughness is still the art itself so you just learn from here and then you know when you want to do yours you like you know settle down and you know remember everything i taught now or if you want to play the video three times or four times anytime you want and then you just try to grasp everything i'm doing also comment areas if you feel maybe i did something you don't understand like maybe the way i separate my highlights from the dark part just comment any place you feel you are confused or maybe like i'll explain on the comment section or i'll make more videos where i see people are more you know concentrated on like if there's something wrong in any parts and i know maybe some of you will not understand that part then i'll try my best to like you know explain that part very very well so that just for you to understand everything so if you are still watching this video please don't forget to subscribe comment and like the video you know share i'll be posting lots of good stuff on this channel i i'm, I'm still on so many projects right now that's why the way i post is you know is somehow lagging but soon i'll be done with this project and i'll be very free to like post twice a week something like that maybe one time i'll start you know asking people one-on-one -on -one, like face to face with a novice and then ask the person any area the person will like have question on then maybe i'll use that question and you know answer those that are not close to me then i'll use that person to like answer questions that will be your own question too that would be another kind of video i'll be making like asking people that don't know anything about pen drawing i'll just ask them and then they tell me their feedback and then so they will tell me areas they, they 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 find difficult and then if i answer the question so maybe you that is not close you like understand things i'm doing and also i'll be doing random portraits from from like for my subscribers just anybody i see i'll just like you know give the person a quick portrait random people portraits and then ask if they like it and stuff like that and also i'll be doing comedies portrait like caricature comedies it's art and then maybe you from there you also learn caricature because that's one of my work back then and also comics maybe i'll go into maybe i'll still 
go into this movies art like like how to draw iron man and you know captain america and those kind of superhero stuff and you know batman and stuff like that i'll be doing those kind of stuff here so please don't don't hesitate to subscribe and you know just follow up just keep following soon i'll get you know better it all depends on you guys so the more you guys you know support my channel i'll i'll be like i'll be very grateful to like advance myself in every areas So guys, this is how to draw skin, realistic skin, if you want to get real skin. So this is how you do it. Some people might think maybe the paper I'm using has some effects on the on the outcome, like the results, maybe the results 
from the maybe the way the paper is textured yes somehow but it's also your technique don't rely on maybe the paper i'm using is the reason why i'm getting this the result like this doesn't matter get this technique right and you'll be able to make skin as real as possible as you want so guys don't forget to subscribe you know i'll try to make videos that will explain things more like hair and how to draw eyeballs and you know stuff like that so see you guys next saturday